Okay, welcome to this video. This is the Quadeca I didn't mean to haunt you review. Okay, so basically there's gonna be a part two to this video. I'm just gonna be reviewing two songs. I know, but it's gonna be a lot of work I have to put into, so please understand, but Obviously, I'm going to be reviewing Born Yesterday and Tell Me a Joke, and then in the part two, all the rest of the songs on the album, okay? Because I'm more familiar with those songs, so it's easier for me to review, but all the rest of the songs on the album, um, I have to become more familiar with to review them. So, okay, let's get to the point here. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the Born Yesterday song. Um, actually, before I do that... I want to review the album cover. Um, the album the album cover is a ten out of ten. It's perfect. It's amazing artwork, an amazing album cover. That's all I'm gonna say. People are bothered by the border around it. I don't care. It looks amazing. So let's go to Born Yesterday. Let's see, so first of all, the beginning of the song is really good with this type of uh, electronic sounding, I forget what it's called, uh, I think like some, like signaling or something, I think that type of sound, I might be getting mixed up with something else, but, and the vocals when they come in with uh, in Born Yesterday, it's just like, I was born yesterday, like, it's like, very like, interesting the vocals like uh it's very it really does catch your attention in the, in the beginning when the vocals start um the singing is perfect um just he, he definitely figured out how to sing on this song there's no bad singing on this song and the build up of the singing like and the whoa like and then the dun, dun, dun. and then the sample, the Beatles sample, uh, goes so well in the song. Um, and a nice soft little drop, you know, this kind of soft. Dun, dun, dun. It's like wow, it's just like. And then when it comes in with the rapping, dun, like, it just flows and everything flows so well in this song. Um, and also the synthesizers sound amazing. I know there's so much to this like song. Also like the reverb on the vocals. Um, but the synthesizers sound really good. Um, just checking the battery. Okay, the battery seems good. Okay. Um, and then the guitar also. Can't forget the guitar in the song. Uh, and then especially the vocal effects certain things stand out with the vocal effects on there I can't be specific I can't think of it but like I guess it's a talk box or maybe I forget what the word is for it right now but it sounds amazing um, and the lyrics are really good too um, maybe some people might not like it but I think it it gets like once they get straight to the point, but also I would say like it's just very good of how it presents itself, the lyrics. But then like um it gets so bright like that part Yeah where it goes like that when it's like uh, it gets so bright I disappear and it's been 12 nights in a million it's like oh my goodness like that sound like and then like the it's like it's like it's kind of interesting how it's like it gets so bright I disappear it's like literally the audio the audible version of like bright light like like that and you, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But it's like, and the rapping so good, singing so good, like I said. Um, I'm doing a review video. Okay, so. Also, let me see here. Oh yeah, of course, we're if we're going to talk about the song, we're going to talk about the ending. 
about the ending of the song of how it's just these uh it's very uh, i would say it's still atmospheric but it gets really atmospheric at the end and the singing obviously is perfect also and really emotional and especially i really like at the end when it's like dun, and then the, Yeah, that's better. It's like, you know what I'm talking about at the end of the song. It's just like, and then at the end, like, but it gets louder. So it's like, you, 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 like at the end, I was like, wow. Okay, next song. That's it for the the review of that. Also, the cover art for the song is perfect. Um, next is tell me a joke now this song first i'll get this out of the way to cover art for this song is also really good um oh yeah and also uh, talking about the born yesterday music video obviously that's perfect a lot of visuals too much to get into but it's like wow uh very good narrative and story with i forget what it's called the thing with the anyways can't be perfect with these uh, reviews but anyways Okay, tell me a joke. Um, I'm not telling you, to, that's the name of the song. Anyways, um, I really like how, like, in the beginning of the song, it's like these really high vocals. Like, like I can't do it right now because I'm not, but like, I'm, I'm reviewing, I'm not saying, but like, who, yeah, who's there? I think something like that. But it's like, I wanna know, like, oh my goodness, so good, like, dun -dun, and I like the dun -dun -dun -dun. it's hard to explain, but it's like, it just sounds so good, also the music video is really good, just wanna get that out of the way, um, the guitar also on this song sounds amazing, it's kind of interesting how both songs do have guitar in them, but they still both sound very unique from each other, these songs, some people might be like oh they kind of do sound the same but oh, i don't know it's i think it's enough to tell the difference between these songs obviously not just by the song titles not just by the you get what i'm saying um the singing on this is also perfect i haven't found any flaws in these two songs um oh yeah i like when it goes uh Oh, I could hear were the crickets. I love that. Funny the joke was on me. Do, 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 do. If you know what I'm talking about, that, that instrument, I forget what the instrument's called, but just like, funny the do, 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 do. And then, ah, da, da, da. like the singing, oh, the, like, the, so it gets higher up. Well, the vocals, uh, wait, uh, like, Dun, 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 and it's really impressive um and then like it's very interesting going back to the knock knock whatever thing and then it's like it's kind of like but it's like a new like a new like way of going about it so it's like i don't know um, okay let's go to the oh yeah i wanted to say oh sorry the 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 when it goes when it flows into the slow not slow but like the soft drum beat where it went from that to like but it has this type of eerie feeling to it but also it have these soft drums and right something like that but then obviously it's like and then when it reaches the big drop in the song like like it's obviously not like that but like 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 wow um i feel like uh, like also with the lyrics with this, uh, it does a great job on what it's trying to get at. Now, I'm not using any lyrics as an example, because the problem is, is all the lyrics are good with these folk songs. Um, 
And also, it would take too long to get specific in every lyric, because every lyric has substance to it. Almost every lyric has substance to it. And the problem is with me, I would get too deep into it and get too specific with a lot of fingers of the lyrics. So I don't want this video to be too long. It's already been like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so that's my review of the both of those songs. So, see you in part two. If you like this video, then subscribe and turn notifications on because it will help you get notifications when my newest video is out. And also, I just want to say, on my YouTube channel, I also make music and uh, I make other videos talking about other stuff. And uh, but also, I do tutorials. But anyways, see you in the next video. Yeah.